nothing's gonna stop us I ain't gonna tell no lies I ain't gonna apologize You can see just where I stand You know exactly who I am Taking everything I want Don't believe me, then just watch Standing like the earth is mine Moving like I own this time
Hi, today I would like to show you how to correctly mount the Aragon Touring Grips using various materials, rubber, biocork and bioleder. Everyone can choose their favorite. In addition, the GB grips are available in different length variants, except the BioLeader model. Each grip is available in two different sizes and as well as shifter configuration to fit grip shift, roll-off or nexus. Finally, it is advisable to use the GC model when installing into handlebar with much back sweep. For mounting of the Ergon Touring grips, you need a cleaning cloth, alcohol or isopropanol as cleaning agent, all the proper Allen or Torx keys for the clamps, brakes and shifters, as well as other cockpit items. Finally, to properly tighten all these screws, you will need a torque wrench. Begin by loosening the shift and brake levers, as well as other cockpit controls, such as a bell. To remove all grease and dirt, use a clean cloth, lightly covered with isopropanol alcohol, to clean the handlebar. After removing the right and the left grips from the packaging, loosen the screws of the grip clamps or binds by 3 to 4 turns. The light grey palm surface, BioCork grip surface is black, points upward and the wing of the grip points rearward. For grips without bar ends, the screw on the clamp points upwards. For grips with bar ends, you have to push the bar end onto the grips until it clicks into place. The screw on the bar end points downwards. Now the grips can be pushed completely onto the handlebars. Ensure the edge of the handlebar hits the internal auto stop of the grip clamp or bar end. Now rotate the wing of the grip until the entire palm of the hand rests completely on the grip. With a currently adjusted grip, the wing supports the ball of the hand and approximately holds the wrist in a straight position. The wrist position is neither bent nor overstretched. From this neutral position, the grip can be rotated 10 degrees downwards or 20 degrees upwards according to personal preferences. Ultimately, wing angle is personal rider preference. When the correct setting of the grip has been found, tighten the screw of the clamp or bar end to the specified torque. The correct torque can be found in the installation manual as well as on the grip clamp or bar end. Be careful not to over tighten. With the grips installed and tightened to torque spec, next, adjust and tighten to torque spec the shifters, brake levers and other handlebar items. Finally, install the end plugs. While mounting, pay attention to the correct alignment of the logo. You are now ready to ride. The Ergon team wishes the endless fun on the road and on the trail. The Knight Rider Lumina OLED 1100 Boost is an innovative bike light that removes the guesswork related to battery life, allowing you to plan your next ride safely with complete confidence day or night. The Lumina OLED 1100 Boost features Boost Mode, providing a stunning 1100 lumens of maximum light output by simply double-clicking the power button. Casing made of durable DuPont fiberglass reinforced plastic and an aluminum heatsink to keep operation temperature at optimal performance. A custom reflector and lens to distribute the brilliant 6000 Kelvin Cree LED. USB rechargeable and the USB port seals tightly making it water resistant holding an IP64 rating. The OLED multifunctional digital display screen delivers precise battery run times as a percentage and actual time for the Lumina OLED's nine lighting levels. With the included USB cable, charge up with IntelliCharge, reducing charge time in half. And with the included headlight strap mount, it's easy to mount to various handlebar sizes, fitting standard and oversized 35 millimeter handlebars. Simply pivot the rails, feed the strap through the channel, cinch down tight, and secure the strap to the bottom hook, then return rails to center. This will ensure the secured positioning throughout various riding environments and terrain. With the lock mode feature, 
you'll be able to lock your headlight in the off position to save battery power by preventing the headlight from accidentally turning on while in storage. Charge times for the Lumina OLED 1100 Boost would be 6 hours at 500 milliamps or less or 3 hours at greater than 500 milliamps. To turn your light on, press the power button. In low mode, the light will run for 6 hours, running at 225 lumens. In medium, the light will run for 3 hours at 450 lumens. In high mode, the light will run for 1 hour 30 minutes at 900 lumens. Access boost mode by double clicking the power button. Run time for boost mode will be 1 hour at 1100 lumens. Press the page button to enter the daylight safety flash mode, which has the pulse flash, which will run for 10 hours. The fast flash for six and a half hours, and once more to enter walk mode, with a runtime of 18 hours at 70 lumens. Pressing the page button once more will enter you into safety flash mode. Here you will find beacon and SOS, both with a runtime of 18 hours. 